They've cooked for their families. They've cooked for fine restaurants. They've even cooked for the rich and famous. But now they're here to cook for their country. Hello and welcome to the first battle between Indian and Pakistani chefs. This is Foodistan. Tonight we will continue with our individual cook-offs. Remember we've had six chefs up to now. Let's see how they've been doing. Here's the leaderboard. Eight of these chefs with the lowest scores will be eliminated at the end of the individual cook-offs. But to carry on with things tonight, here's my co-host Ali Khan to kickstart our individual challenge. Hey, Ira, good to see you. Good to see you. Namaskar, Adavarz, uh, and good evening, everyone. Another day, another delectable feast. It's the magic of Foodistan at work. Two new chefs from India and Pakistan will clash for mastery over cuisine. And we'll get to taste their fine creations. That is, if our judges leave some for us. Please welcome, from Chalet Girl to Chef Par Excellence, it's been a long journey for Merrilee Parker from England. Hi, guys. How are you? Very good. Hungry as ever. Food for thought and food for the palate. He provides both with panache, journalist and food critic, Mr. Veer Sangvi. Hi, Ira. Good Hello, to see you, Veer. Posing for the arc lights or relishing her food, she's equally easy with both. Please welcome actress Sonia Jahan from Pakistan. Good evening, guys. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Our first contender today, a young, talented chef from Pakistan. He's host of a popular TV show and also the hand behind the scrumptious food at Cafe Gracias. He's skilled, he's fast and he's ready to rock and roll. Let's say hola to Chef Amir Iqbal Ali from Karachi, Pakistan. شروع سے میرے والد صاحب اور ہماری فیملی تھوڑا فوج کی طرف ہے تو میرا بھی یہی ایم تھا کہ فوج میں جانا ہے میں نے آرمی میں اپلائی بھی کیا اپنے ایف ایس سی کے بعد دو دفعہ کمیشن کے لیے تو لیکن وائس ایس بی سے میں نوٹ ریکمنڈ ہو گیا تھا بیسکلی میرے ایک مامو جو ہیں وہ اس وقت ہوٹیل میں ہی تھے تو انہوں نے مجھے کہا کہ اب کیا کرنا ہے اگلے دن وہ مجھے ہوٹیل میں لے گئے ان کے جو مطلب ایف این بی کے جو مینیجر تھے فوڈ اینڈ بیوریج کے ان سے انہوں نے مجھے ملایا انہوں نے کہا بیٹا پیاز بھی چھیلنے پڑیں گے ایک ایک من اور ایک ایک بوری آلو بھی چھیلنے پڑیں گے لیکن الحمد للہ ماں باپ نے تربیت ایسی کی اتنا فوکس بنایا تھا کہ پھر میں نے سوچ لیا تھا کہ اب مجھے یہی کام کرنا ہے اب پیاز چھیلنے ہو یا زمین کھودنی ہو کچھ بھی کرنا ہو تو کرنا ہے تو پھر وہ کرنا ہے Amin is ready to rock and roll. His opponent is all set to spin and turn. If he wasn't a chef, he says he would have been a DJ. Please welcome the man who sated gourmet fantasies from Dubai to Delhi, executive sous chef of the Leela Palace, Karan Suri from India. What I like most about my profession is cuisines that can be innovated further more and more and making it and just refining the cuisine more and more. I think Chef Karan has the ability to take not only Indian cuisine but the international scene of different palettes, different visions and merge them together. Knowledge-wise, he's like a walking encyclopedia. His desire, his drive in the kitchen is intense. Why I will win Foodistan is because uh, I love my job, I love cooking, and food that is cooked with love tastes the best. Looking good, Chef. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Karan. Uh, just a reminder to all the viewers at home that as Karan was one of the members of the winning team challenge, he gets a three-point advantage, which will obviously hold you in good stead in this individual cook-off. Now, never judge a book by its cover. Karan may look young, but he's also deemed a walking encyclopedia on food. Let me actually suss out if that's true. For our viewers at home, Karan, pop quiz. Common ingredient we all love, which is the regurgitation of an insect. Honey. It's honey! Scores big points. Well done. Okay, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is the common factor between pineapple and broccoli. See, apart from being a fruit and a vegetable, uh, they are both deemed as uh, negative calorie foods. The answer is we're looking for negative calorie foods. Judges, are you impressed? Negative this calorie This man knows his stuff. <laughs> this man certainly knows his stuff. We've started the show off on a high note. 
आमिर आज के लिए आपका पहला इंडिविजुअल चैलेंज है यू नो यूर द यंगेस्ट पर्सन ऑन द पाकिस्तानी साइड और द यंगेस्ट शेफ ऑन द पाकिस्तानी साइड डू यू थिंक दैट एक्सपीरियंस इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट और इट्स रियली ऑल अबाउट द स्किल आप जब कंपटीशन में काम कर रहे हैं तो आपकी स्किल्स और नॉलेज दोनों साथ साथ चलते हैं जब आप किसी होटल को चला रहे हैं तो आपको एक्सपीरियंस ज्यादा काउंट करता है आर टू शेफ सीम टू बी वेरी टू रॉक एंड रोल बट विल आर गेम चेंजर टू नाइट बी वेरी टू डांस विद दैम Tonight's game changer is one of the most versatile and popular of all foods known to man. Mash it, fry it, roast it, or just eat it cold. It tastes awesome no matter how you cook it. Our game changer, the bulkiest banana. That's right viewers it's going to be banana mania on foodistan tonight we've given both our chefs raw and ripe bananas so choose your muse and put it to good use but first we must find out what you think of tonight's game changer karan my memories of banana is having it in a milkshake and that's probably about it <laughs> you know so i'm uh, a little worried now because uh, i've never cooked bananas before so Let's see. Let's see how the competition goes ahead. Bro, that's not what I was hoping to hear. I'm sure our viewers weren't hoping to hear that especially since I've bigged you up as a walking encyclopedia on food. I can talk about bananas, I can't cook them. <laughs> Amir, in my whole career I've never cooked banana in in the food except the desserts or wo custard type cheeze. Kyun ek Pakistani cuisine mein kahin bhi hamare banana ki kai bhi use nahi hota hot food mein specially. चले आप लोग निराश ना हो टू गिव यू हेल्पिंग हैंड इन द किचन फूड स्टान इज ऑर्गेनाइज प्रोफेशनल अप्रेंटिस सो प्लीज वेलकम ऑन अजय फ्रॉम आई आई सी ए दिल्ली एंड स्ने आशीष फ्रॉम आई आई एच एम कोलकाता गुड लक सर्व वाइल दे मालो वो बहुत है गुना कुक बता डिफिकल्ट बनाना लेट्स क्विकली रिकैप ऑन द रूल्स They're fairly simple. They get to cook three dishes tonight. Two of them need to be main courses. One is an appetizer. Two of the three dishes need to have bananas in them, which is tonight's game changers. Their final menus will be then scored out of ten points by each of the judges. On that note, let's see what they think of the banana as the game changer. Marylise. Oh dear. Oh my word. Now I have to say, of all the challenges the chefs had so far. This has got to be the hardest because it's no desserts. So we've got to think out of the box here. Frankly, banana and savory dishes is really difficult to do well. Not a personal favorite. However, you know, these guys are professionals. I'm really hoping that a bit like yesterday, we had a convert on the panel. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping that you can do something that will change my mind. Veer Yeah, I don't know, Ira. I think the decision to make the banana a game changer is actually breathtaking in its stupidity. It's, <laughs> it's the only time a Pathan runs into a banana is if he slips on a peel, and the only time a Punjabi chef uses the word banana in a kitchen is if he says, "My, ye banana hai." <laughs> Apart from that, I mean, what are these poor guys going to do? You have two really talented chefs. and they're going to waste their time doing bananas i enjoy bananas in their simple form um or uh, since i have a sweet tooth in desserts like banana flambe or banana bread but um that's in a, sa in a savory dish especially in a desi style i've i've never had it so i'm intrigued to see what's going to be made tonight thanks very much for those extremely candid comments judges let's see uh, what our two professional chefs have actually thought of so let's start with you karan Uh, well, for starters, I'm going to be using uh, raw banana, and I'll be making a rajma and kele ki shami. Uh, I'll be serving that with a yogurt, uh, like a tarka dahi. So that will be the accompaniment for it. Uh, for main course, since I'm allowed to do one dish without banana, I'm going to be doing something that's close to my heart. Basically, a dhania mud, in which coriander would be used in four forms. It will be coriander roots, coriander leaves, coriander powder, as well as fresh coriander seeds. and then because i have to use banana again it's going to be influenced through south india where uh, it's a dish from the mopla cuisine from kerala where uh, raw banana and fish is going to be tossed in a special spice paste that's flavored with some soft any seed some garam masala and some curry leaf and coconut that sounds fairly fishy but thank you for that karan chef amir basically for the starter i'll be going with a stuffed banana pakoda uh, which we make in the besan ka batter on the second course same as karan said a very close dish from for pathans all over pakistan it's chicken kadai but the thing is i'll smoke the kadai with a koila 
I will give it a smoky flavor. And finally, for the banana, I have thought that I'll make a tale kele ka korma. I'll fry the bananas and potatoes and put in the basic korma gravy. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.